Fernando Dreyfus from the Ghoul team here. Hello to all of our Ghoul users, open source developers, and crypto people out there. Today we want to share a quick tutorial on how to use our newly launched web wallet, Gold.app, to verify perspectives and send transactions on the Blocktree ledger. Today we will see GG and Ghoul transactions. You will need to have created a PGP key and registered your Ghoul account before you can use this platform to send your transactions. But if you have any questions about registration, please refer to the description on this video or join our Telegram group where we will gladly guide you through the process. So once you're registered on the Ghoul block tree, your perspective exists on the block tree. And now you want to start sending Ghoul transactions. So great. For this, we will just need the browser website, gold.app and RPG GP key manager. So here we have, this is our browser. You can see that it's to the address gold.app. You can see that this will show you my perspective. Gold individual users accounts are created and registered through PGP, meaning that for me to send a, a transaction, I will need to be the owner of the key for this particular account. The gold.app wallet allows us to view public information for the perspective's presence on the block tree. This public information is hosted on the block tree F Dreyfus branch, as uh, is my cool username, and presents my public information. So you can see things like my full name, my location, my website, public email, uh, what the PGP key signature that I have as, and all of the aliases that you may contact me at. You may also see below here a couple of the balances, equity in two different assets, GG and gold, income and expenses as well. The ledger balances show you how much funding we have for each account that we may have. We can check different accounts as well by selecting the spaceman icon and typing in a new perspective to observe. This is a, like a different user profile. So except for example, if I wanted to see my friend's profile, I will go and here view as user. I will go to my friend Phil's account and I can see his public information and his balances here. It also tells me how much of his gold balance is available here. I can click and it will give me all of the three available coins that the wallet manages right now. The first one would be the gold native token. The second one would be the GG or gold games token. And the third one would be a personal token or ICSD token. These different token balances are all on the ledger balances on the block tree ledger branch. And we can make transactions on any of the three depending on the available balance on the account that we would have. All right, so let's say that I want to send my friend Phil Fogel a Ghoul transaction. I would first have to ask for the web wallet to provide me for a transaction contract template to sign. This would be filled out with the relevant information that the block tree needs to validate, how much to send, to whom should I send it, and if this is the owner of the signature who is sending the actual transaction and not an authorized party. This is how we assure safety and ownership in the gold block tree. So let's say that I want to send my friend Phil some gold, right? I can see his balances right here. He has 68 gold, 0 GG, and 0 ICSD. Let's first check how much I have available to send him. So we're going to check my perspective. It tells me that I have 100 gold available and uh, 320,000 GGs available to send. So Phil is a good friend. I'm about to send him a big gold transaction. We are going to do this through the website now. So what we need to do is we just first, we need to go to the send menu through the rocket ship right here. This will open this format where we just need to fill out the details of the transaction. Once done, we say we tell them to generate the transaction. So let's do a transaction from myself to my friend Phil. So let's say let's say we want to send 100 gold to Phil. Okay. Let's send 100 gold. If we wanted to send GG, we could send GG. We just have to select it from there. But right now, I feel like sending gold. So we're going to generate the gold transaction here from to and the amount of in gold. And this will generate this right here, raw transaction. Now, this raw transaction, um, I can easily just take it, select it with my mouse and copy it. Or I could download it. And if there's any issue with obtaining the information from the copy or the browser is having some sort of issue, you can always just download the .dat file, which will be the actual transaction. The next step for that transaction is like, once we have it copied, we need to bring out our key manager. And here in our key manager, I'm using in Windows Cleopatra. If you were in Linux, you would be using GPA. GPA is also available on Windows. And if you're on Mac OS, uh, you would be using text edit. The, um, 
GPT Suite is the software that you need to install, install so text edit can be used to sign accounts. So um, I already have this text copied into my clipboard on my mouse. I go to Cleopatra, I go into clipboard, open PGP sign, and this asks me which key I want to use to sign in case I have multiple keys. I put next, this will ask me for my passphrase, so I type that in. and it tells me that the signing is succeeded. So this is all the message that I need. This means that this signed transaction, this transaction has been signed and it's already in my clipboard. So I could just easily just come back here, hit paste, and this is the signed transaction. If you notice, it's the same content that we have here, but with a PGP signed message wrapper, PGP signature wrapper at the end and an ending of the signature with the content of the signature. So this should be it. If the key that I hold is correct and everything is correct and the user name is correct, once I hit submit, this is the successful message that should be told, uh, that should be returned, track section submitted, ledger gold uh, on the location branch F Dreyfus, and this is the unique timestamp identifier for that transaction. Remember that in the gold block tree for one specific token, we can only have one transaction per second as we use the transactions for the namespace. So at this moment, this signing process is done off browser through our key manager, GPA in Windows, GPA in Linux, or GPG Suite and text edit in Mac OS. But we will be releasing an in-browser signing and identity management solution in a future update. So you can see that after submitting the transaction and going back to my perspective, um, the balance is updated from my 100.899 gold. I have 0 0.899 gold, uh, meaning that the transaction was successfully done and that my friend Phil Fogel now has his 100 gold over on his side. Stay tuned and subscribe for more usage tips and updates and to learn more about the power of gold in the block tree. Make sure you join our Telegram community and hit us up in GitHub if you're a developer. We have bounties available out now in our subreddit, reddit.com slash r, gold block tree. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.